down, left, right, fire, joystick number two, up, down, left, right, fire, and how about both, up, down, left, right, fire. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Evie's Review. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about the 2-bit. What's the 2-bit? Let me see. Hold, hold on just a second. This, my friends, is the 2-bit. So first of all, let me give you a little backstory. This is the Commodore 64. These are some ports on the Commodore 64. Notice that there are two joystick ports. These are DB9 control ports, the same ones used on Atari 2600, Sega Master System, and even Genesis. But don't try plugging in a Genesis controller into your Commodore 64. I don't recommend it. So check out what you can do with the 2-bit. Here's my Commodore. Here's the 2-bit. Here's the 2-bit going into the Commodore, and here's a Commodore with a 2-bit. Just so you can see how it lines up, I'm going to put the power plug in there too. So there you go, that's everything all lined together. Now, you're probably wondering, what does a 2-bit do? And why did I call it the 2-bit? So, the 2 is because it's a joystick doubler, and bit refers to back bit. So check it out, this is my Commodore joystick. You might compare this to the original Atari 2600 joystick, and you'll notice there's a few differences. First of all, the shaft is triangular instead of hexagon. Next, you'll notice it's quite a bit narrower than the Atari 2600 joystick. And finally, it's got the button on top instead of on the top right. Now, for all you millennials out there, you're probably saying, what's that thing with the stick on top? Well, that's what we in the 80s called a joystick. So when I got this joystick off of eBay, I got it as a pair, but one of the joysticks just didn't work at all. So I thought, okay, I got a joystick, and now I gotta like switch it from this port to that port. Oh, this is such a pain. Well, what do you know? I have a 2-bit. So I take my joystick, I take my 2-bit, and I cross the streams. I mean, I plug the joystick into the 2-bit. Now you're probably wondering, what is 2B1? No, it's not a Spice Girls song. 2 stands for Control Port 2. 1 stands for Control Port 1. So what that basically means is the 2-bit is a joystick switcher. It'll automatically switch between ports 1 and 2. However, there are already quite a few devices in the hobbyist market that will swap joysticks. So why get a 2-bit? Well, I'll tell you why. Check out this setting in the middle, the B. I wonder what B means. Backbit, butterfly, bizarre. No, it means both. That's right, it's a joystick doubler, not just switcher. So check it out. I'm gonna plug in my 2-bit. Now I bet you're wondering, what does a 2-bit do when the computer's off? Well, nothing! That's exactly what it does. And I bet you're also wondering, can you plug in the 2-bit while the computer's on? But of course! It's FDA approved. I mean, no. Or, no, it's not. But it is backbit compatible. So check it out. Here's the 2-bit in action. There are a few games that use two joysticks at the same time, and you'll see an interesting effect with the 2-bit. For example, Spy Hunter. The button on the second joystick 
is used for things like smoke screen, oil streak. Ordinarily, you have to have two joysticks in your hands at the same time, but with the 2-bit, it can press both buttons at the same time. Now, what if you want to fire and not do an oil slick? Want to save that oil for another enemy? Well, it's very simple. Just take the switch and put it up here, and now I can just shoot. Now here's an interesting case. Check out Diamond Mine. This was the very first video I ever did for Eevee's review. This is the game that was just the central puzzle of my childhood. So check out that video if you want to know the whole story. Anyway, check it out. You've got these two cars, and just by changing the switch on your 2-bit, you can play with car number one. Car number two. Are both cars at the same time? Whoa! Now I guess you're probably wondering, there aren't that many games where you'd actually use two joysticks at the same time, especially all those single player games. So what is the 2-bit for? Well, it turns out about 10% of games on the Commodore use joystick port 1. I would say that percentage is quite a bit higher if you're talking about games in the first few years of the Commodore's release, because later on, most programmers just realized, well, might as well just use control port 2. And why? It turns out, in the Commodore 64, each joystick port is actually a bi-directional parallel port, and the way the Commodore detects keys is it checks if certain pins are connected from one port to the other. Now it associates control port 1 with rows, and control port 2 with columns. So when it's reading the keyboard, it's setting the column with port 2 and reading the rows with port 1. And so port 2 won't actually interfere with the keyboard because it's reading from the other port. You can't write to a joystick, so that's not really an issue. Now because of this, when you're handling keys and joystick signals at the same time, you're better off just using joystick port 2 so you don't get any conflicts. Now, here's what's really special about the 2-bit. I can leave it on the B setting for, let's say, about 90% of circumstances, and it'll basically do what I want it to do. Once in a while, you'll get a game that has a weird functionality, like pausing, or just generally malfunctioning. And in that case, you'll probably want to take the switch and move it up to 2, so there won't be that conflict on port 1. So if you're interested in getting a 2-bit, just go to store.backbit.io, and you can have a 2-bit all of your own. All right, folks, that's about all I got for you this week. So tune in next week for another episode of Evie's Review. Uh, wait, 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 hold, hold on, hold, hold on. See that little button right there? If you click that, instant karma. True story.